Welcome to Brilliant Biology. Today we're diving into topic 5b2, how ecosystems evolve. By the end of this video, you should learn what is meant by primary succession and secondary succession. Let's begin by looking at how ecosystems evolve. How does a bare rock from millions of years ago turn into the rich ecosystems we know today? The answer is succession. Succession is defined as the process by which communities of organisms colonize an area and later over time are replaced by other, more varied communities. There are two types of succession, primary succession and secondary succession. We'll start by looking at primary succession. Primary succession involves an ecosystem that begins as an inorganic surface. So for example, a rock or a sand dune. The first stage is colonization. In this stage, the first organisms appear. They're known as pioneer species. Examples could include fungi, moss, and algae. They're able to penetrate rock and break the rock into smaller particles. The second stage is the formation of soil. So over time, the rock particles and organic material from dead pioneer species will combine and form a soil, which can support a more complex life. The final stage is the establishment of a climax community. This is a self-sustaining community with relatively constant biodiversity. You could also think of it as the most productive community that the environment can support long term. And it will involve more complex animals, varied plants, and so on. Now let's move on to some useful terms. The first term we have to know is climatic climax community. This is the idea that for every given climate, there's only one possible climax community. So for example, for a cold climate, there's only one possible climax community, and the same for a warm climate, there's only one possible climax community. Then we have plagioclimax community, and this is a climax community that is at least partly the result of human intervention. Finally, let's look at secondary succession. Secondary succession involves ecosystems that are developed from existing soil that is simply clear of vegetation. This could happen in the case of a fire or floods, for example. Because the soil is already formed with roots and soil organisms, plants and animals present themselves in much higher quantities from the beginning. What's interesting is that the secondary climax community might be different from the original climax community. This is because it will depend on the climate and on which organisms colonize the area. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've made a link in the description box with flashcards which you can use to practice this topic and they're completely free. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.